found that if there wasn't a few tenths between myself and the first car, by the time we got to the braking point, I wouldn't be able to make it in time to get the overtake done. So we're breaking just after the 200 metre board. Down the inside. Stay in third. Break a little bit to get the rotation. Back on the accelerator. off slightly, back on the accelerator, let off, back on it, let off, back on, brake down to fourth, hug the inside, hug the inside of the next wall, Me personally, if I hadn't overtaken this GTR by the time I'd got to this corner, I knew that I had to reset because I wouldn't have had enough time to get to and overtake the first place car. Right, just after 200. Slipstream the whole way. And there we have it. Pretty self explanatory. Just slipstream the whole way. This should be a one and done challenge. Me personally, I thought this was the most difficult one yet. Not sure why, but I just seem to struggle with this one. I think I had over 40 attempts of just trying to master this one. And in the end, what I ended up doing was backing out of this completely to the main menu and then reloaded it. Did this a few times and it just seemed to work. As you can see here, heading onto the back straight, the time delta between myself and first place is around eight seconds. You're gonna need that coming onto this back straight. If you don't have that, you're not gonna be able to overtake the last two cars if you are looking for the gold.
So for the drift challenge, I aimed my car towards the middle of the track, pressed the handbrake. Once you've done that, as you can tell by the steering column, I'm putting it towards the left, then back to the middle, back towards the left, while all whilst fully accelerating. This one is pretty easy, the three cars themselves are really slow. The only challenging factor is avoiding contact with the walls and avoiding contact with them. But this isn't, this isn't the, the best run that I've done, but I still managed to do it quite convincingly. So we don't touch the accelerator until we see the word go. 75% until we get the revs, then up to 100. Keep the fuel map around 3 or 4. Means less power but more fuel safe. It's also helpful to have the ghost on as well, just to see where you're going wrong and what improvements you can make. Once you go through the shadow, 100% acceleration all the way down the hill until we get to the red and white barriers on the right hand side. And then we let off. Back on for a little bit. No need to brake for this one because it's uphill. Let the car do the braking for you. Down a gear. Rotate. Back on the accelerator. Just before the end of the red and white rumble strip, that off. And then brake. Down a gear. 100% accelerator. All the way to the end. If you've got the, the uh, fuel percentage, you go down. By the time you get to this final straight, you're looking for about 15% left on the fuel in order to make it to the line. Otherwise, as you can see there, you'll run out. And there we have it. And that covers it for Beyond the Horizon Mission Challenges. I'll see you in the next one for Rolling Stone.